hello welcome again and uh, this video is the extension of the previous video which we did in solving uh, minimization assignment problems and in this video we are going to see how we can solve unbalanced maximization assignment problem so I have imported the two libraries and uh, as I said in the previous video uh, the function which is going to solve assignment problems is the uh, linear sum assignment so let's uh, start uh, importing or writing our matrix as you can see on your right hand side so you can see the matrix is uh, unbalanced is having just four rows with five columns so to solve a maximization problem we have to uh, transform the matrix from maximization into minimization and after that we will add the dummy row to make the matrix to be square okay the assignment problem basically should be a square matrix so let us start in, uh, writing the matrix that you can see uh, in your right hand side of the screen so we are done with uh, writing our matrix now as I said we have to transform this matrix uh, into a cost matrix uh, so we have to transform this uh, from maximization to minimization so what we do is we will pick the maximum uh, elements in this matrix and uh, we will subtract uh, to every elements and uh, that will have the cost matrix which we are going now to use in solving this problem so now let's create a cost matrix so basically here we are going to uh, use some loops in uh, generating that uh, cost matrix so let's create that matrix okay at this point we have created our cost matrix with all elements have been reduced with the maximum value okay so uh, this part here is the one which computes these elements by deducting each elements with the maximum value uh, and we are controlling the negative by starting with the maximum element minus the elements of the matrix so uh, and uh, after this then the cost matrix its element is being updated by the uh, cost row elements which comes from this computation now let's print out to see uh, now this created cost matrix after this computation so let's print this one and see if we have managed to develop that matrix so you can see our matrix is here this is the first row second row third row and this is a fourth row so this is now a new matrix after reducing or transforming from maximization to minimization now let's proceed uh, I wanted to check if we have managed to create this one I'm going to stop this output here and then we go to the next step and the, the next step after creation of this matrix now uh, is to balance the uh, the assignment problem remember we have only four rows five columns that means uh, the matrix is not squared so we need to balance it and to balance it we are going to add a dummy row to make it square and that dummy row is going to have the uh, cost of zero to each position okay now I'm going to create that dummy row with zero elements and uh, add it to the uh, cost matrix so let's add that and add this dummy row to the cost matrix that means we are going to create a, a balanced cost matrix so I'm going to call that is the new cost matrix we are done with the uh, adding the dummy row in the cost matrix so we can print out also to check if we, we have uh, created a squared matrix wow we have managed to create this squared matrix here as you can see and now we are in the position now of solving our assignment problem now let's solve our assignment problem uh, by calling in our function which is the linear sum assignment function so the optimal solution will be obtained from mm, the call index and uh, we did the total profit because maximization basically 
we maximize profit or something rather than cost so uh, because we are dealing with a uh, maximization here i'll uh, formulate a function for uh, profit creation or efficiency uh, maximization okay that means we are going to have uh, total profit equal to np now this is the uh, equation which will calculate the maximum uh, assignment or maximum value of assignment uh, from the matrix and the, you can wonder why do I use this uh, uh, matrix with the addition of dummy row uh, the original matrix was not balanced so in the computation of the uh, maximum value from each row one row will be missing so what you do you will add a dummy row to the original matrix because basically we are going to take the maximum value from each row of the original matrix so it will make uh, things easier and the workout you have to add the dummy row if the uh, your matrix is missing one row or a dummy column depending on the uh, nature of the matrix which you have so because this uh, matrix is missing uh, one row so to be square so I added the dummy row to make it square and then I proceed with this uh, part of uh, adding the maximum value from each uh, row which will be uh, identified or solved by this function here so after that now we are ready and uh, we can print out the solution uh, to obtain the optimal assignment and the uh, total profit so let's print out that okay let's run this and see so you can see we have this output here so we have the assignments okay and we have the total profit which is 34 so uh, from uh, first row we have the assignment at the uh, third column in the second row we have assignment at the fourth column and uh, from the uh, third row we have assignment at the second column and from the fourth row we have assignment at the first column and the from the last row which is the fifth row we have assignment at the uh, fifth column remember that these represent the columns and columns are indexed from zero so this is how you can uh, solve unbalanced and maximization assignment problem thank you for watching see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Goodbye.